Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a full-on glam makeup look. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. Starting this look off, I just am going to spray my face with the Mario Betescu, um, I think that's how you pronounce it, facial aloe spray. I love how this feels. It really moisturizes my face. And sometimes I guess it can act as a primer. Probably not, people would say, but I love it. So next, I'm going to prime my eyelids with the Lorac Pro Eyeshadow Primer. Diving right into my eyes, I'm going to start out with this color called Frostbite. This is the NYX Cosmetic Prismatic Eyeshadows. They're just really pigmented, and this one is just kind of like a metallic-y silver color. I am in love with it. I'm just using my naked um, eyeshadow brush that came with that palette. I love this brush because then I don't have to go and grab all my brushes at once. And since I'm doing this makeup look, I'm only needing both of those ends for this look because I'm not doing much to it. I'm just using the flat headed side to apply this, um, this frostbite color and then I'm going to just go in with the fluffy brush and blend out any harsh edges and make it look seamless. Like I said, I'm just going in with the fluffier side and I'm going to just blend that all in. Okay, here comes my favorite part, and that is glitter. I'm so excited. This is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter. I chose the color Midnight Cowboy. I loved this color. I thought it looked bomb instead of using the um, silver color. I wanted this Midnight Cowboy color because it kind of had a little bit of gold in it as well. It's like a silvery gold. I can't even explain the color, but I thought it looked bomb over top of this eyeshadow. So I'm literally applying this all over my lid on top of that eyeshadow that I set down. And then I'm just going to go in and pat it with my fingertips just to make it kind of spread out a little bit more and not look so harsh and chunky or anything like that. Okay, chunky sounded really gross, but I mean, <laughs> patchy or whatnot. Okay, now moving on to eyeliner. I forgot to show you guys what eyeliner I'm using. I'm using the Essence eyeliner. It's like the liquid tip, and I'm using... The color black I believe <laughs> pretty simple but I think it dries to matte I really like this eyeliner and it's really cheap I'll link everything that I'm using down below also I'm trying to do kind of like a really dramatic wing but I'm not bringing it all the way into my inner corner I'm just focusing on the outer corner because I am going to be wearing some dramatic lashes and I want to focus this look mainly on the glitter and the metallic look to this so yeah I'm just trying to focus that on the outer moving on to foundation I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Born This Way and I'm going to mix it in with a little bit of the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy Foundation, I believe that's what it is. I wanted to mix these two because my face is so complicated right now. It's not like crazy matte, but it's not super, uh, I mean, not, cra it's not crazy dry and it's not crazy oily. So it's like combination. I can't even explain. So I mixed these two. Sorry, that took so long to explain. Okay, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I believe this is in the lightest shade. It's called Fair. I really like this concealer. I'm just kind of using it up until it's completely gone. And I feel like it's got some medium to full coverage. I like it just because it brightens up under my eyes. I'm going to go in with my damp beauty blender and just pounce that out. Okay, so I'm going to bronze up my face a little bit. I'm going to use a Lorac Tantalizer Baked Bronzer, and I'm going to mix that in a little bit with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I really liked this combination. I wanted to lighten it up just a little bit. I didn't want to go too harsh on the bronzer or the contour. I just kind of wanted to focus this whole entire look on the eyes. So you guys can see me apply that right now. Next, I'm going to add some color to my cheeks. I'm going to add the Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten in the color Pink 
buttercream. I really love this blush. It's so pretty. It came in my Ipsy bag a while ago and I rarely use it, but when I do, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna go and add some highlight. I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Naked Illuminated Shimmering Powder. Um, this is the color Luminous. It's so beautiful. I love it. It's got some shimmer in it. You can also use it on your uh, body. I was gonna say face, but look, I'm using it on my face, but you can use it on your body too. Um, it's pretty shimmery. I like you using it in the summertime. It looks really pretty when you've got a beautiful tan going on. Off camera, I'm gonna put my lashes and mascara on. And I forgot to add brow gel, so I'm gonna hurry and do that really quick, and then I'm gonna move on to, last but not least, lips. Okay, so I'm going to line my lips with the NYX Slim Lip Pencil in the color Pale Pink. These are only $3.49. I love them. I'm just going to go and line my lips like I already said. And I'm going to kind of fill them in because I like this to be my base. It is such a beautiful color. Like I said, the color is Pale Pink. I love this color. And over top, I'm going to add this beautiful nude lipstick by Ulta. It's in the color Bronzed Beauty. It's just a nude lipstick. I think they've got like a nude line, but I love this. It's so creamy. It's so comfortable to wear. And I'm just going to set my face with the NYX Dewy Finishing Spray. This stuff feels so good and it's so hydrating. final look I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye